the morning, maybe even longer. For a closer look at that, let's go straight to Deja Brown, who is live in studio. Travers, Sella, good afternoon. Like you said, we do expect those eastbound lanes to be closed well into tomorrow morning. Like many of us know, once something happens on the spillway, it's very difficult to manage that congestion and especially those those delays. I want to give you a live look there right now. As you can see, cars getting by in the westbound lanes, but we're still seeing some very heavy congestion. I want to show you something on the map, something we don't usually see. That's purple. Purple right now on the Bonnie Carey spillway, and that's because, like we said before, at mile marker 213, it remains shut down. So your major, um, excuse me, alternates are, of course, going to be US 51. But right now, as you can see, traffic moving at zero miles per hour in those eastbound lanes. Also seeing a closure at mile post 1, I-55 southbound. You go ahead and traffic is being diverted off at mile, excuse me, at exit 187. That's US 61, but we're seeing major delays there. US 51, it's going to take you about 27 minutes to get from I-55 southbound all the way over to airline. Now, once you get over to airline, you see lots of red on the map. It's going to take you 34 minutes to get from airline all the way over to I-310. So I'm going to keep you updated on air and especially on social media at Deja WDSU, but we do expect these delays to go well into tomorrow morning. Back to you. All right, Deja, thank you. Once again, the cause not known at this point. FAA and NTSB en route. We continue our live team coverage in the weather department, and law enforcement leaders say that fog may have actually played a 